Good morning everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How's it going today? Today I'll be doing another vehicle drawing and today I want to do a Sigma Special Concept 1958 which is a rather unique car and you don't really see it every day so that's why I wanted to do it. There's quite a few popular cars out there but eh, you see them every day and stuff. I want to do some cool from the 50s or something, some random concept car. So I'm just starting off by doing a few outlines with a 0.95 pen. Just getting some shapes in. I have previously just done a little thin sketch of a pencil in here. Where I've just started off with the wheels and then from the wheels I can then calculate where I want. I've done a bit of the outline here, just in black, and just applied some of the dark shadows, just to give you a perspective of where the darkness is. As you can see, where the light's coming from the top here, so the light, so all these top sections, such as this bonnet that's going to be across here, and then it's have a bit of sky reflection onto the glass, and it's got this fin that comes right down here, so that's going to have a nice reflection just coming down. Now the top bit is going to because it's so light, and the bomb bit's so dark, I need to cut like. Uh, Bring those two together in a small gradient. So I'm going to meet it halfway with Copix, then meet the other halfway with pencil and pastel. That can be a nice, good, solid tone. The Copix kind of uh, stain the paper, and the pencil and the pastel kind of sit on top of it. So I found it's good to actually do the Copix markers first, and, the pa and with the blackness of the Sharpie that I have and stuff, you can use the pencils and pastels to go over the top of it. So. And it's quite difficult once you've got the pastel, pastel and pencil to, uh, to go in to the Copix afterwards. It doesn't quite sit on top of it. It kind of sits on the pencil but not on the paper. That kind of makes sense. So I've got a variety of different colours here. A few greys and a few blues. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so I always do do a little bit of a test beforehand to make sure these are okay colours. Because although it does say what colour they are, that one's a little bit too dark, so I'll skip that one. You can see that I've done uh, the Copic marker layer. It's got a nice um, dark grey area just on the below here. And you can see with the greys as well, I've made the, uh, the blue stripe that's coming through. Nice and just dark this edge here. Nice little vents and blue inside the wheel arches as well. And just like a little horizon line here. Now to smooth it all out, I'm just going to use some pencils for this. So I've got a bunch of pencils I'm going to use. Normally these are fiber Castell pencils, but some of them are just little cheap ones. So yeah, let's just do a pencil layer just to smooth out some of these lines at the top here. 
and do maybe a bit of this windscreen stuff and then after that we'll do the details. See, I put some nice smooth transitions there of the colour. Just a lot of greys here and there, a bit of pencil just on the uh, on the windscreen. But uh, it's slowly coming together now. I just want to do some final details on the wheels and some lights, maybe a few other knickknacks here and there. So I'm going to go with my 0 0.05 and just start with the wheels and the lights. Just to add a bit of detail, because this is going to be quite complicated. These wheels stick out on their old wire wheels. As much as I love these old fashioned wheels, they're quite a pain to draw. As you can see, I've just finished off the final details around the wheels and the wires around them with the 0.05 pen. I've got a bit of gel pen, white gel pen here, just around some of these edges, just to bring it up a little bit. Do a nice, use the sticky notes, give me a nice little level bo uh, border just around here, and then I use a bit of pastels as well, just to smooth it all in. And yeah, it's looking nice, I'm uh, quite happy with that. This has been the Sigma Special Concept 1958, and uh, well, thanks very much for watching.